now we want to make the numbers dynamic. And one way of doing this is saying, okay, this cell here needs to be the same date as the start date that we have for our pay period, enter, okay? But I don't want to show the entire date. We will take care of that in just a minute, okay? The second cell here, I want it to be the same as this one, plus one day, that value plus one. So if this is J July 16th, this one will be July 17th. And then we can drag this all over until there, okay? We do not see, we would have to enlarge the columns a little bit. We can do this just very quickly like that. We don't want to display, it's too heavy like this. I just want to display the, the date, day, number. So we can use the number formatting here, select those cells, and then come to custom, more number formats, in fact, and choose custom. And let's say I want here to be a D. So I want to refer to the day, and that's it. Like that, it shows me just the day portion of the date. These cells here refer to the same dates, but I want to display the day of the week. So this cell, I want it to have the same value as the one below, okay? So here, I'm going to say equal to the cell that is below, enter. I'm going to drag that formula across over there. And then I want to say, I don't want to see the day numbers. I want it to show me the day of the week. So let's go to more number formats. And here, if we type DDD, it will give me the day, the names of the days of the week, okay, with three letters. If I type for this, DDDD, it would spell out the full weekday name, like Friday, Saturday, and so forth, 